Folks, it's not happening. It's going the other way, and it's going the other way out of control. May I be bold enough, and I don't want to offend anybody, but I don't play uh, politically correct games, all right? The federal government is broken, and I do not know if it can ever be fixed again. People ask me tonight in some interviews, <clears throat> well, do, you, do you not like the United States of America? Folks, I love the United States of America. I love it. I fought for it. I have sworn an oath to two constitutions. And as God is my witness, I stood up to those, uh, those words that I swore to. But the politicians in the federal government, from the president on down, take the exact same oath that I took. And folks, they have broken their oath to us. You yes. bet. They have broken their oath to us. And we do not need to sit on the couch anymore and put up with it. But I... We're not going to start a revolution. We're not going to go shoot anybody. We're going to politically and peacefully, through the pressure of, of the sovereign people of the state of Texas, we will change this. People say, do you think Texas independence will really happen? Folks, it is inevitable. It is inevitable. Now, you may not believe that yet, but when you get to the end of your journey, you'll understand why I say it's inevitable. It has to happen, or we're going to be living in a place that we don't like. Now, I also have traveled the world. I was very fortunate as a young man to be able to travel the world. I own my own business. Uh, I do business with Europe, as a matter of fact. I import product from Europe and sell them to car washes here, believe it or not. I'm a car wash man. It's, but I've traveled to these other countries. And I have lived there, not lived there, but I've been there and I've stayed there and I've seen what I don't want to happen in Texas. And as long as I have an ounce of energy left in me, and the Texas Nationalist Movement has an ounce of energy left in it, we are going to continue bringing this message to the people. And if you join this organization, that's what our expectations are for you. To do exactly the same thing. I carry in my pocket here, I carry this everywhere. You can see it's, it's pretty beat. And nobody likes to be read to, but I'm going to read you this because it's very, very important. All right? You see, our United States Constitution has been trashed. We have a uh, commander-in-chief who has publicly said he really doesn't care for it very much. That's not my America. I was asked tonight in an interview, are you willing to give up being an American to just be a, a, a Texan? Yep, I am. Yes, I am. I still love the other 49 states. <clears throat> sure, I like to visit there. But if I got to put up with that, if we have to put up with that as a people, what we're getting out of Washington, D.C., then the answer to that is yes. <coughs> but, but you see, my friends, Texas has a constitution too. Now, be honest with me, because it's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything bad about anybody. Who in here has read the Texas Constitution? Good, good. Well, let me show you, and let me read you the most important part. It's called Article 1, Section 1, and Section 2, right. Our Bill of Rights. Right. Our Bill of Rights. Article, section, or Article 1, Section 1 starts off and says this when people say, well, we can't be independent. Here's what our Constitution says, by the way, written after the Civil War, after secession was over. Texas is a free and independent state, subject only to the Constitution of the United States, which has now been trashed, and the maintenance of our free institutions and the perpetuity of the Union depend, depend upon the preser uh, preservation of the right of local self-government unimpaired, not just to our state, to all states. Has that been violated? Yes. Thank you. Article 1, Section 2 of the Texas Constitution. And this is where we come in. All political power is inherent in the people. And all free governments are founded on their authority, our authority. Not the governor, not the speaker of the house, not your rep, our authority and is instituted for their benefit. The faith of the people of Texas 
stands pledged to the preservation of a Republican form of government and subject to this limitation only. Now listen, they, us, have at all times the inalienable right to alter, reform, or abolish their government in such a manner as they think expedient. I'm with you 100%, but my question is, and I think a lot of people here, is does that have any validity today? Yeah. Um, okay. I, like I said, I want to I want to hold the questions and answers till I'm done with the presentation, but I'll go ahead and answer that. Does it hold validity? It's our Constitution. Now, it holds validity if the people will understand that and act upon it. It is absolutely valid. Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. So you see, my point that I'm making here is is that if the people get together and work together. We can change this. Texas independence can happen. Now that brings up a whole bunch of other questions we'll get into here in a little bit. But it in fact can happen. All right. Um, let me, uh, let me just go a, a, a little bit further and, and, and tell you that uh, this learning process that everybody goes through, and I want you to. Uh, to understand that we're adamant about that too. Daniel Miller, our president, wrote this book about a year and a half ago. It's called Line in the Sand. If you will allow me, I will call it the Bible of Texas Independence. Any and every question that you could ever have about how we do this, or the path that we take, or the righteousness of it, the legality of it, the whole nine yards is in this book. If you go to our website at texasnationalist.com, you can download this book for free. If you don't read it, shame on you. Okay? Because it will change how you look at things. So I urge all of you to go to our website and download this. You will absolutely be amazed and you'll find a lot out about Daniel Miller. Okay? The other thing is, how many of you have been to our website where the little Texas flag is waving? And yeah, listen to the audio. You know who that guy is? You. Yeah, thank you. That's me. All right, so you got to listen to me again. All right, got to listen to me again. But uh, they, these things, these tools, will start you on your road to completing that particular journey. Now, I want to go ahead and say something here right now, and I want to bring up, which will probably be a question. But I was listening. I was listening to Glenn Beck this morning. Anybody hear Glenn Beck this morning? Yeah. There's a lot of things about Glenn Beck's show that I like. He exposes a lot of things and, and sends people out to check stuff. When I turned the TV on this morning and Glenn Beck says, there's just a bunch of insane nutcases out there talking about Texas independence and secession. Secession is just such an ugly word since the Civil War. It'll never happen and you people are all crazy. And then spent the next hour and 45 minutes saying, gather your food, gather your bullets, gather your <laughs> Buy gold because the economy is going to collapse. And if anybody doesn't think in here that the economy is going to collapse, let me just say one word to you that you hear every day. Unsustainable. You figure it out from there. And then he said something. He said, secession in Texas independence is illegal. It's against the law. <laughs> well, yesterday, Judge Napolitano from Fox News was doing a live report in San Antonio and did a very lengthy description of uh, how every state, should they choose, should the people of that state choose to uh, secede, declare independence, whatever word you want to use, it is perfectly legal because there is nothing in the Constitution that addresses it. There is nothing in law that addresses it. Folks, it is up to the individual nation states, but we don't look at them as nation states anymore. We all grew up, I shouldn't say we all. A lot of us grew up in the 50s. From, from elementary to junior high to high school, it was the United States, the United States, the United States. Got it, got it, I was there. You know, you cut me out, I did red, white, and blue, I still do. Same color flag, it's a different flag. You know? but, but folks, it is not illegal 
It is not illegal. It is absolutely within our power. I just read it to you. We have the right to change, alter, or abolish our government as we see fit. Period. Are you aware that on the U.S. government website, 80,000 Texans have signed to secede? Why, why do you think the TV cameras are here tonight? <laughs> That's exactly right. You are not alone. When my wife first looked at me and said, Justice just needs to secede to become its own nation, I looked at her and said, are you crazy? I thought, well, I'm not alone. My darling bride thinks that. So there's two of us in the world. But I started my journey, just like I'm asking you to start your journey. Just like a whole bunch of other people now are starting their journey. Some of this stuff, sir, that you just mentioned, the 80,000, some of that is knee-jerk reaction, some of it's anger, some of it is, is irritation, some of it is, I've had enough. But these people need to find a home. They need to find a home where it's structured and there's actually action going on to make this happen. And that's what the Texas Nationalist Movement is all about. People ask me all the time, in fact, this was one that, uh, that uh, uh, came up on, on the bed show. Well, if we secede, well, they'll just send the army down here and kill everybody. Folks, when you take your journey into Texas independence, you must stop and use some common sense. You've got to think. Knee-jerk reaction? Sure, not unusual for everybody to think that. But listen. This is not the 19th century. This is the 21st century. And you've got to read and study history. At the end of World War II, there were like 52, I believe, independent countries on the globe. 52. It's 195 now. You know who supported all of those between 52 and 195? Our federal government. Yes, sir. You get to be, we just watched it in the, in the Middle East. Yes, sir, you get to be independent. Go for it, go for it. What do you need? Here's some money. Want some bombs and stuff? After all of that, you're going to convince me that they're now going to go, oh, no, but Texas, that's not for you. Or, or Arizona, that's not for you. Or Montana, or all the other states that have secession. Yeah, we're not here. <laughs> well, that's a point, point well taken. Start talking about the administration philosophy at that point. But you see, folks, when you think about it, it doesn't even make sense. If they if they sent military troops down to Texas, for example, what do you think the other 49 states would do? Adios, buddy, we're out of here. Because guess what? We'd probably be next. You see, it doesn't even make sense anymore. Besides the fact that a very large percentage of people in the active military are from Texas. Okay? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. So what I'm saying to you is this is that some people would go, well, it'd be, sure be neat if it happened, sure be nice. You Texas nationalists, get out there and go get it. Make it happen. Well, we are, except the pressure comes from the people. And you've got to get involved. We're going to ask you to join the movement. We're going to ask you to get involved in the movement. I will tell you right now on January, anybody know what January the 8th is? Thank you very much. Opening day of the Texas Legislature. On our website yesterday, we called for a 100 man, 100, excuse me, 100,000 man march on the Capitol. Do you think that will apply to some political pressure? My friends, they will buckle like a $2 bill. Okay? Because now the people of Texas are voicing their opinions. They're voicing their wants. And they work for us. We have gone the wrong direction in the last 50 years. And said, so, well, we sent them up there. And my goodness, you know, of all the things we've got going on right now in the United States of America that are very, very huge fish to fry, guess what we got today? Gambling on Galveston and Corpus Christi. Well, what we do? Now, I don't have any feelings one way or the other about gambling, but we got bigger fish to fry. I will tell all of you there were 14 of us out of the Texas Nationalist Movement, because we put our money where our mouth is, that ran for the state legislature during the primaries. I was one of them. I ran for state rep out of District 53. To go up to Austin and try to begin to change these things. I told you Austin is a mini-me of, of Washington, D.C. And believe me, folks, if you've never gone up there and spent the day trying to talk to some of these yahoos, 
don't go unless you have a really, really good breakfast and you've had a good night's sleep. Because you will leave so frustrated, you'll want to just scream. Alright? But we ran. We put our money where our mouth was. We ran for office. There was 14 of us. All 14 lost by exactly the same percentage point across the state. You think we have a, you think we have a, 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 a group up there, a, a block up there in Austin that takes care of their own? Yes, we do. The guy I ran against said, hey, we balanced the budget uh, when we came out of the last legislature. Really? No, you didn't. Because you're starting this one with all the money that you took out of the education program. And guess where they're what guess what they're saying now? Yeah, we are making so much money out of the Eagle Ford south of San Antonio, all that oil and all that gas coming out of there. We're gonna be able to balance the budget. Excuse me. I thought you balanced it before you left the last time. Folks, it's a mess up there too. But they they will bend the public pressure. Believe me, we've seen it. And as I told you before. There are people seated up in Austin right now that believe the way we believe, that know that we don't have any more options. We are out of options. It's broken. It can't be changed. You're either going to sit on the couch and you're going to choke it down, or you're going to stand up and you're going to change it. And that's what we do at the Texas Nationalist Movement. <clears throat> Folks, we have hundreds of thousands of people on our rolls already. We have millions that don't even know we exist. Now, what has happened, and some of you found us on Facebook, uh, we have a brand new ad agency that started yesterday. Um, the president, Daniel Miller, is on Sean Hannity tonight. We've been on TV here today in Dallas. I've got three more interviews between here and San Antonio on TV tomorrow. The word is getting out. The people are angry. The people are mad. But there is a place for you to go. There is a home. But we're going to ask you to participate. We're going to ask you to engage peacefully and legislatively and support the, 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 the movement, the only movement in Texas that is actually working with the tools that it will take to make uh, Texas independence happen. And that's the Texas Nationalist Movement. I'm going to urge all of you right now, go to the website and join. There's all kinds of, of, uh, of different ways you can join on there and become a member. Whatever works for you, whatever's comfortable for you. 